morning guys so it's a rainy windy day totally opposite from yesterday getting up and going for a swim and but you know it's still fun my gears kind of wet and my suits wet but it's not cold and I don't I don't really care it's out here wandering having fun unless you're freezing your tail off it's it's just uh, part of the adventure you know there's the lake down there with the waves rolling in. I don't know if you can see that. I turn the phone around and uh, talk to you, but <laughs> the camera on that side of the phone has moisture in it. I'm, I'm gonna go like this. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but here I am. I'm right here. There's the bike. There was my camp spot last night. So we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna head down to the Traverse City area. We're gonna go visit a buddy and uh, the, the weather is supposed to improve. It's supposed to stop raining and even getting sunny and by tomorrow it's going to be in the 70s again. So let's carry on. Sell the coffee here at the at the gas station. I'm just about to cross the bridge into the Lower Peninsula of Michigan, <laughs> and you know I, I wanted to try to just articulate this for a minute or two. There is a lot of tourists out and about, and you know it always sounds kind of righteous, you know, to talk like this, and I I don't mean to sound like that. I try. I'm just trying to kind of t you know tell you what how I see it. There's just a lot of like people dragging around gigantic campers and uh, they look like they ha they look like they're playing beat the clock. Like they have 48 hours to get some fun in before they have to return back to their grind. And I get it, you know, everyone's got to work, everyone's got to make their way in the world, you know. There's 8 billion people on this rock in space and we're all, you know, competing against finite resources so I get it I'm not that naive you know I'm not a hippie so well I kind of got some hippie in me but whatever but well, I think it's sad that a lot of people just miss the point of it and there's probably a lot of reasons why and I've certainly given it lots of thought maybe I'll return to the subject but I just watched you know these folks over here have a new truck and they're pulling this big camper and the guy doesn't know how to turn the alarm off and so it keeps going off and just goes bah, bah. in fact you might see behind me here slowly rolling by <laughs> and you know he keeps coming back and trying to turn it off and then it sets it off again and, bah, bah, and everyone just kind of standing around looking at it annoyed and you know it's just making a ruckus and I don't know is this really what it's come to just trying to enjoy 48 hours or two weeks you know once a year that's what I've always tried to stay away from and that's why I sleep in the trees and my sleeping bed my sleeping bags wet today and you know there's a price you pay so I guess everyone wants to get mega rich so you don't have to put up with anything right so anyways that's my rant for the day let's get on the road let's cross the bridge
guys, that was the Mission Point Lighthouse. Yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't too impressed. I mean, it's neat to see any lighthouse, historic lighthouse, of course, but, you know, the ones where they have their own parking lot and you just get a parade of people coming and looking at it and taking pictures and that one wasn't very exciting, I guess what I'm trying to say. I mean, I kind of like the ones where you have to work to get to it. <laughs> Like 14 Mile Point Lighthouse or Standard Rock Lighthouse or, you know, something like that. Just gives you more of a sense of accomplishment, you know. But uh, nonetheless, it's nice to just check any lighthouse off of a bucket list. So, But I think there's another one. Right now, I'm looking. I'm just down the, the street from the lighthouse here. And there's the other peninsula over there. It probably has a name, I'll figure it out. And I think there's a lighthouse up there. So I'm contemplating whether riding up there this afternoon and see if we can get that one in on the video too. I think we're probably going to, but I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and just kind of take in, take in the scenery. Lake Michigan is just, like I said in the last video, it has so many, it's so different than Lake Superior. Like right now this water is like kind of emerald green and it reminds you of like what would the, the Caribbean would be like. I've never been to the Caribbean, not yet. I hope to go. But, it, you know, you won't see much of this color, you know, in Lake Superior. It's, it's a little more daunting and it's got a darker feel to it, you know. It's just more... It, it, Lake Superior is more moody. Lake Michigan, if it had a personality like a person, it would be a little more lighthearted, a little more fun-loving. Whereas Lake Superior would be a little bit more brooding, I think would be the way I put it. So, what do you guys think? There's other, there's other great lakes to go look at too. We'll eventually get to them here on Backwater. So, enough rambling. Let's continue on with the adventure. navigate your way back out of that? Look at that, you did. This one's in really good shape. Man, the people that do this rock work, amazing. I'll try to get you a good view of this here. Sometimes these can be hard to get far enough away from guys to oh yeah I think I can do it okay there we go that's a good shot of it right there yeah it's a really nice looking one this looks like it's the fog signal building it says 1899 So here's what replaced the lighthouse. I don't know, it says a lot to me. There was a time when we had that, 
with a lighthouse keeper, oftentimes his family, tending to it, all the things that go along with it. And now we have this. guys this has been pretty cool never been to this part of the world before never been to this part of Michigan always wanted to I kind of hurried through Charlevoix and Petoskey yesterday and those little towns around there kind of the, the small little town or the small cities I should say that this area is known for because the weather, you know, was bad, the wind was up, but also I just don't like big, busy cities that much. I kind of like these, these small little towns, like this Northport. Kind of reminds me of Bayfield, Michigan. I'm sorry, Bayfield, Wisconsin, up near the Apostles, has the same kind of feel to it. Yeah, everywhere I go, I always ask myself. I live here <laughs> and you know ask me if I hung out here for a week or so but if you had to if you pin me down right now I'd say I could live here but I doubt if I could afford to live here <laughs> I could afford to park the beagle barge out there on a mooring ball probably and live here though and that'd be fine with me so so many places to explore so little time life's flying by so Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this little series. I'm going to keep doing them. I love just jumping on the scooter and taking off someplace I've never been before and dragging the camera out whenever it looks like something interesting. So hopefully you enjoy it too, and we'll do it again soon. I'll catch you later.